Welcome back to HAPBX Tutorials. In this session, we'll go over how to create, customize, and apply CDR filters step by step. Our CDR call detail record logs can grow massive over time, and we might want to filter out specific results for more accurate call analysis. To do this, we can create custom CDR filters in HAPBX. Filters we can reuse anytime when working with our CDR reports. To create our filters, go to Reports, CDR Reports, CDR Filters. First, enter a description to identify the CDR filter. Then, add filters like duration and talk time to narrow down your search. This helps limit searches to calls longer than or shorter than a certain number of seconds. Duration counts from the moment the call starts ringing, while talk time starts once the call is answered. Afterward, we can add search conditions. These are the heart and soul of our CDR filters. With search conditions, we can make our CDR filters as specific as possible. These conditions include several aspects. Condition type, choose between AND or OR, and means the condition must be met, or means it's optional. If you're familiar with MySQL style queries, this setup will feel natural. It's essentially a MySQL style search. Next, choose what field to search by, such as caller ID, source, destination, DID, account code, customer code, or status. Each field narrows results differently. Destination, the number dialed, Use this to filter calls based on the number your users called. Dash DID, the inbound number used for incoming calls, helps you identify which DID line received the call. Account code, identifies a group of extensions sharing the same code, useful for tracking departments or projects. Customer code, links calls to a specific customer profile, ideal for customer-based reporting or billing. Dash status, defines the final call outcome dash shows if a call was answered, missed, busy, or failed. The call type helps define how calls flow through your system. It can be internal calls between extensions, incoming calls received through a trunk, outgoing calls made through a trunk, transit calls routed through one trunk to another. The value defines the specific data you want to match in a field. For example, a number, code, or name. You can also use the Exclude option to decide whether this condition should be included or excluded from your search. The mode defines how HAPBX interprets your value. Exactly as it is, match the exact value. Begins with match values starting with certain digits or text, contained within match values that include a phrase or number, ends with match values ending with certain digits. You can create as many search conditions as you want. Click. Add to insert a new one or trash to remove it. For example, let's create a filter that searches for calls made by extension 2000, starting with 20, and only shows calls that were answered. Apply the filter in Reports, CDR Reports, CDR, click Refresh, and your filtered CDR results will appear. That's how you can easily create and manage CDR filters in HAPBX, giving you full control and visibility over your call data. That's it for today's video. See you in the next HAPBX tutorial.